Hello you guys and welcome to the Turbo Discovery Championship Episode 6. This should be the second to last episode and we are going to be doing the quarter mile and the brake testing together. Each car is going to have two chances at both tests. And thankfully there is a quarter mile timer and a deceleration timer so I will be able to conveniently do both together. To make things easy on myself for warming up we're going to start off going from the slowest acceleration cars to the highest acceleration cars. And so of course that means we are starting off with our first gear champion, the VAC Bullet. And our best times are 19.132 for the quarter mile and 2.884 for the brake test. Next we have our other first gear lever, the Jupiter Turbo. And our best times are 19.23 for the quarter mile and 2.849 for the brake test. Next up is the Comac XDR. And our best times were 16.815 for the quarter mile and 3.05 for the brake test. Next is the Raptor GT6. <laughs> And our best times are 15.632 for the quarter mile and 2.967 for the brake test. Next up is the Melvin Lone Star. And our best times are 15.831 for the quarter mile and 3.766 for the brake test. Next is the Butler and Jones Rumbler.
and our best times are 15.265 for the quarter mile and 2.886 for the brake test. Next we have the Sparviero 3.0 Turbo. And our best times are 14.763 for the quarter mile and 2.6 for the brake test. Next up is the Turbo Sport Monza. And our best times are 14.032 for the quarter mile and 3.099 for the brake test. Next is the Empire Club Sport Concept. And our best times are 13.765 for the quarter mile and 3.082 for the brake test. Next is the Baronet Royale. And our best times are 13.881 for the quarter mile and 2.699 for the brake test. Next is the Altair TI-5. And our best times are 13.948 for the quarter mile and 2.615 for the brake test. Next we have the 547SR. <laughs> And we've got 14.282 for the quarter mile and 3.199 for the brake test. Next is the Sunshine GTI. And our best times were 13.765 for the quarter mile and 2.981 for the brake test. Next up is the S20 R200 Turbo.
and our best times were 14.398 for the quarter mile and 2.649 for the brake test. Next up is the P103. And our best times are 13.065 for the quarter mile and 2.883 for the brake test. Next is the Bandit Turbo RX. And our best times are 12.649 for the quarter mile and 2.668 for the brake test. Next is the Ghost XR8TT. And our best times are 12.831 for the quarter mile and 2.749 for the brake test. Next is the Phenom Twino CS. And our best times were 13.632 for the quarter mile and 2.782 for the brake test. Next up is the Classic GT. And our best times were 13.482 for the quarter mile and 3.047 for the brake test. Next is the Piranha 75 TB. And our best times were 13.365 for the quarter mile and 2.85 for the brake test. Next up is the Betos V8. And our best times were 12.015 for the quarter mile and 2.716 for the brake test. Next up is the MNJ Type 4 Turbo.
and our best times were 13.165 for the quarter mile and 3 seconds for the brake test. Next up is the 595F TTS. And our best times were 12.282 for the quarter mile and 2.866 for the brake test. Next is the TS-180. Best times were 12.098 for the quarter mile and 2.949 for the brake test. Next up is the Goudland 875. And our best times were 12.449 for the quarter mile and 2.867 for the brake test. Next up we have the International Goblin TAD. And our best times were 12.116 for the quarter mile and 2.916 for the brake test. Next up is M Gobble's GTO. And our best times were 10.699 for the quarter mile and 2.849 for the brake test. Next up is the Tarshish. And we've got 11.934 for the quarter mile and 2.783 for the brake test. Next is the Voltus Venom Turbo. That, uh, that wheeling is going to make things a little tough. <laughs> Our best times were 11.664 for the quarter mile and 2.915 for the brake test. And lastly, the masterpiece I have to try to not break, the 944 Turbo S.
Basically, instead of looking at my RPM redline, I have to try to look at my coolant redline to figure out when to shift. times were 12.065 for the quarter mile and 2.882 for the brake test. Alright guys, here's the new updated data sheet with everything from the quarter mile and from the braking. Here's the sheet with the quarter mile data in order. You can see our best time was M Gobbler with his GTO which got a 10.699 in the quarter mile. And here we are with the in order of braking time, and our winner was Tanks or Tryhards with uh, 2.6 seconds. And now here is our new updated score sheet. Second and third place are just one point apart right now. In first we have the TS-180, in second we have the Betos V8, and in third we got the Altair Ti-5. I knew this was going to happen, but honestly I'm a little concerned with... Uh, how much is riding on this AI race. I plan on trying to get some practice races in and make sure I can get the AI well figured out and get a good level of riskiness figured out too. That way we can have an interesting fun race but also hopefully the AI won't be super slow and then also hopefully they won't be just crashing into each other like crazy. No matter what though, at the least the AI race should be very fun and entertaining to watch, which is why I saved it for the end. Well, I think that's all I got for this episode. I will see you guys at the very exciting AI race finale in episode 7.